sharing my perceptions on certain topics which i feel it is necessary to share it to be frank on choosing a topic for my session i was really thinking of something which excites others but my thoughts waved me waved me off to certain things around thinking my perceptions on it and that's how i arrived at this topic initiate inspire ignite and invigorate initiate the change a initiation is very important has for me each individual should initiate within himself to make a change outside inspire those whoever you meet ignite the minds of your young to do right things and things rightly invigorate the society the possible you can so these are the certain perceptions which i found for this process of where we are in right now so initiate change where change is necessary everything around us has a scope of change but where we initiate change we need to initiate change there time has offered us to initiate change and that's why you and i are listening to the session in this form instead of being in our classrooms to initiate something one should have the confidence and trust on himself and that's why many leaders initiate and others react to it what i feel for my session is one has to follow certain initiation in certain things which i have put it on the screen now in our problems and difficult times we need to initiate because initiating a change in our problems and difficult times will allow us to look into aspects in different perspectives we are not living in a fairy tale for everything to be pleasant with us sometimes we have sad things happen too so initiating a change in our problems and difficult times will enable us to divert ourselves from being in the tough times next we need to initiate change in our mistakes and failures i think if thomas alva edison has not initiated a change even after 10000 failures we wouldn't have got such a creations initiating in our mistakes and failures will teach us lessons in our personal growth initiating change in our life will discover new life aspects somewhere if the initiating initiation doesn't lead us where we wanted to be it leaves a lesson for us there so initiating change in our personal growth is very essential initiating change to extend our opportunity yes of course taking a turn from our usual path will offer us various new choices and happiness so it extends our opportunity which is available for us so initiating change will extend our opportunities in acquiring knowledge i would tell yes everybody has to initiate a change in acquiring knowledge because time will give us that situation where the knowledge we acquire now will benefit us tomorrow it's because this time we have initiated to learn more of technical knowledge the time has offered us the change to learn of to know some technical knowledge and that's why we have initiated a change so i believe everyone should internally initiate a change within themselves will positively impact outside change is necessary for each and every one here i have few teachers who initiated change with their will and who have made a change a great initiation led to a different positive things around them the first person here towards your left is abdul malik is from malappuram this person swims through a muddy river to reach to reach his students on time at 9 am when asked to him he said that he initiated this thought just because it takes him 3 hours to reach the other ways so he holds his stiffen his shirt is all his stuffs in his left hand and reaches the students on time at 9 am so that he could spend that 3 hours teaching the students so he made a internal initiation to reach students towards our right we have rajesh kumar sharma this person owns a general store in delhi he has initiated a thought to teach the underprivileged students 
who could not afford to go to school. He started with two students teaching what the needs they have, and now it has raised to 200 students and moreover like a school, though he has not followed a fixed syllabus, he has initiated, which made him a great change in others. And below you have this Ar Arvind Gupta, is an alumnus from IIT Kanpur. This person has initiated an idea of turning the trashes into beautiful, joyous learning toys and experimental toys. So which gave a change in learning things joyously. So these, I feel these are the people who have initiated change and they have made it very successful. And that's how I believe each and every one has to initiate change. I have a poll here. First polling here. Yes. Which type of person you prefer to be in your life? One who wants to change, one who wants to change. Yes, of course, now, everybody, almost 100%, everybody wants to change. Everybody wants to change and nobody wants a change. Leaders always change, others follow. Those who initiate change will see what others ignore. So those who have the trust on themselves, those who believe themselves, their decision, their thoughts, they make a change, they create a change. To change something out, we need to change it within ourselves. So you have wants to change, wants a change. So those who wants a change would like, would lack in their trust or would divert themselves or would feel they are uncomfortable in on this particular aspect. Yes, of course, sometimes we need to adapt for a changes. We need a change, but we do, don't have the trust that we could make it if we feel we adapt the changes what others give. Wants to change, those who have their confidence and trust within themselves make a change. So this is about initiating change. Internally, you need to change and you cannot expect anybody else to change internally. When internally you initiate change, it results a positive change outside. We'll, we'll move on to the next thing. Inspire those whoever you meet. So here I have another poll. Sir, can we have another poll here in the beginning? Before moving on to this inspiration, inspire, I would like to have another poll here. Have you been to the toughest time of your life? Pratyusha, ma'am, I have a question here. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, have you been through a toughest time of your life was the question. And many times we think yes. like, you no, know, we might have a toughest uh, situations ahead and what I have passed through is not that. Then how do I take it now? Then you obviously have to tell it no, ma'am. Okay. I feel that is not the toughest time. I still have have a long way to go. I still have a lot of things to achieve. Barrier, if we think the toughest, a barrier is the toughest time, that's the end. If we feel that barrier is not our end, we may move forward, ma'am. We can tell it as no and move forward. I have given no, ma'am. Okay, then correct. Thank you. 
<risa> ¿Qué va? Okay, so now many would have pulled it for yes, you have been through the toughest time. And we feel some of the times, yes, this is my toughest time. But few, like they would think that's just as a barrier. Yeah, this is just a barrier for me, which is not my end time. So they feel that is not my toughest time. And of course, I feel this time, this situation, what we are facing is the toughest time for all human being as we are surviving at the risk. Survival is itself at a risk. We see from our own eyes, our fellow beings are being dumped into, into the death grave. We feel they have been thrown into the mud. And this is really the toughest time we are all. But we need to make a change over here. We need to have a change in our mind. We need to have a change to live ourselves surviving for a survival so people not all who have achieved success inspire us only people who have achieved success in a different way they have faced a lot of con controversies problems struggles and they have faced all their poles in their lives would inspire us i would tell because pressure makes diamonds only when there is a lot of pressure, the diamond shines brightly. So people we meet with the most inspiring personalities and when they become refined, when they come out, when they experience a lot of problems and when they experience a lot of difficulties and face and come over, they learn a lot of lessons. They are refined by all those lessons. That's how those people are inspiring us. Each and every day, Every human on this planet has experienced deep trauma and pains at some point of time in their life. It doesn't mean that's the end of the life. It means that we have to face all this to be strong. Our difficulties, our problems, this makes us strong even more. It makes us at a time to shine brightly. And certain times, inspiration, we make inspire, we inspire people in our thoughts, in our ways, in our talks, in whatever that is with us. We inspire people in our unique nature that is within us. But most of the time, what we do is, we keep our uniqueness inside and just follow the mass. By following mass, we do not inspire others. By being different, by being unique, we inspire others. We have many participants here, and all of them are different persons, and all of them are unique in their own sense. We have to inspire others by our unique nature. We have to carry our uniqueness outside. Only then we inspire people we meet. We become diamonds when we take up pressures. We can inspire others when we come out and shine like a diamond. So that's how I feel one should inspire others. So I, I told you many leaders and professionals have remained in our hearts in an, as an inspirational personality. It's because they have won their controversies, they have won their challenges. To give an example, you have many leaders turning from Chaya Wala to be the minister. All of them, many leaders and scientists have become, they have faced their challenges, they faced their controversies to come up to this position. But we can't even understand or imagine the agonies of the disabled person. They have people surrounded them, reminding them of their disabilities, but still they manage their own life. They achieve something in their life. They still remain as an inspiration in all their hearts. Few of them have collected here, and one of my uh, famous person, Nicholas James, is uh, popularly called as Nick. This person, he was born without arms and legs, but he plays football with the small flesh-like limbs that he has got. And he, he plays music, he swims, and he does all the work just as a normal person does. He runs an NGO named Life Without Limbs. 
and he has also inspired many people and he gives motivational speeches to many he still remains in the hearts of many as an inspirational person so one of a kind these people what more we have agonies in our life here another example few examples girish sharma he lost his leg at the age of 2 in a train accident he is a badminton champion in para asian cups he has he has won many uh, gold medals he is known for his effortless playing and he just covers the entire court with a single leg that is the spirit he has changed inside internally he has cultivated the ability the the motivation what we has he has inside apart from all the disabilities they forget the disabilities and they come out with something new to change the world and another on his right right you have broto he one who could achieve even with disabilities can be a body can win a bodybuilding competition he just follows that he can do anything if a normal person can do he doesn't have his legs but he has won many medals and many hearts by inspiring others stephen hawking the one of the greatest mind who doesn't need an introduction who has changed his life he is most popular a uh, disabled person who has changed the life of the world and it needs uh, another lifetime for us to understand all his work stephen hawking is one of the inspirational person if one feels their their life is is in trouble is in vain we are in full of darkness just once think of these people whose life itself is lot of challenges people are there to remind them of the disabilities but they still hold up their capacity to come up they are themselves they are unique they have created a change in the world so here i have inspired people all those people who have inspired others and i believe those whoever feels your life troubles you your life is lot of depression and especially this times if you feel you are in deep thoughts or deep trouble or depression something just think of these people who remains in the hearts of many who still are motivating people the other word which i want to is ignite ignite the minds of your young to do right things and to do things rightly i believe yes i believe it is the responsibility of each adult to ignite the minds of their young to stir their consciences why stirring their consciences because we by stirring the consciences we teach them the life instead of teaching them the subjects we make them for the life instead of making them for the career so i will live we are responsible for our students to stir their conscience in all the aspects igniting the mind does a great things outside hitler remains an inspirational person for few because he ignited the minds of many it's not easy to ignite the minds a spark so few things which i felt is very ignite very important to ignite students is the leadership quality the leadership quality what i mean is the badge which is given to lead their team the badge which is given to lead their team in a right way to do something great to the society to the people to serve but many at times the authority and power will be misused and that's why the cases like this happen where the where the badge is wrongly used which has been an insult to humanity itself so you might have know this george floyd's case where the power was misused and another i i am sure you would have not known this another case which is on the right it is a case where a father and son was very brutally killed in a lockup just because they kept their shops open even after 8:30 they were supposed to close it by 8 but these people kept their shop open up to 8:30 in the 
It's because of the ego of the policeman. They were called for an inquiry and they were very brutally killed in their lockup. I feel power is not to have control over others. Power is not to make someone slave, to not make someone under you who are taking control over them. The authority and power should be taught to the students right from now because it's the time where the, the age, the age that swings. It is the right time for us to ignite these things in the minds of our students. Emotional intelligence. This is already been done in the first session. Mental stability and control. Emotional intelligence should be taught to this, ignited to the students. The responsibility, very important, the responsibility of a citizen to the nation. As children, what is responsibility to his parents. So one who is responsible for his parents is equally responsible for the nation. Responsible as a friend. What are his responsibility as a friend? To keep him to a right direction, to be available whenever he needs of, whenever he feels depressed, whenever he needs some help, being there when it is required. As a student, what are their responsibilities? To know things right, to do things right. As a human, very important as a human, what are our responsibilities to the nature, to the animals, to the cre other creatures? They have equal rights on this earth. What are their responsibilities as a human should be instilled into them. Most important, the relationship values. This value is being forgotten by many of us sometimes. The value of relationship within the family and outside. Within the family, what is this value of relationship to our parents, to their relatives, to their siblings, and outside, to their friends? A boy having a friend, girl, and a girl having a friend, boy, what are the values that they have in their relationship? Should be always ignited or instilled into them. These qualities, I feel, is very important in students for their life. So when it is instilled to them, the cases like this could be avoided when they take up an authority, when they take up a leadership, when they are responsible for something, the relationship. So when people believe what they desire not to suffer, should not be suffered by my fellow beings, then these type of things could be avoided. These type of things could be really reduced So here there is a polling at the last when I come to the end of this ignition. Can we have a polling, sir? Ma'am, results on the screen. Sixty percent have told as agree. Thirty-three percent not sure, and seven percent have told it as not agree. So for that sixty, we make society. So society can be invigorated or supported or be powered when there is education. When each and every one have the education, society could be invigorated to the heights. A quality education. Education which gives them the life. 
a quality education will make the society invigorate so here society is termed to be invigorated when there is proper respect for human person each and every one here has a ability to do something in the society each and every one has a ability to contribute something to the society to help your fellow beings in need to grant your helping hands to them but when each person each profession is respected and then there is the invigoration when there is no starvation but starvation what we can invigorate what we can do for the starvation of the people is limited though it's limited but we can stretch our hands to reduce the starvation and already we are in the process of it through our colleges nss road rat and all such associations what we have clubs we are invigorating our society what other than that we can invigorate is by spreading the education if a society is educated to its height it is an invigorate it it will be invigorated to the heights and having a notion of sympathy and compassion towards your fellow beings sympathy and compassion here i mean what i desire i don't desire to have i i should think that my fellow beings also should not be desired so if this thought is there in each and every one's mind we can invigorate our society our fellow beings if we do not invigorate our society or if we do not help each other then who else will do the ability of a person if if there is a progress in each one of us should be appreciated ignition what i shouldn't suffer should not be suffered by others cultivating an ability to think of the mental vision of others each and every one should cultivate this ability of thinking in others mental vision there we support each other where we bring up each other invigorates and i believe this word and i don't know where uh, who has told me this right from beginning one who helps him to who helps him giving money is not so great than one who teaches him to earn money this has been taught right from the beginning and it should be taught to everyone the need for their long run should be served first it is the duty it is the responsibility of us to the society each one are responsible for each one of us in the society having sympathy having the ability to think the mental vision of others can make him educated so offering your helping hand to someone in need can make it happen so when we offer our helping hand to someone in need when they are depressed being there for them when they need some help maybe in finance in educating them or in uh, in offering them their needs in granting them what a small thing what we can contribute to them we can alleviate countless situations of depressions and suicides in our society alleviating the depression suicides can make from our side can make our society a little forward by contributing ourselves whatever possible by getting our best out of by what is best in us getting it out will make the society invigorated future is in our hands i mean the students so by getting the best out of them will make us invigorate the society there are many students with lot of capabilities and abilities just like how thomas alvin uh, uh, thomas alva edison his teacher wrote a letter when he was in school that he is a person who doesn't have a normal mind he is mentally abnormal so we wouldn't admit we wouldn't admit in our school further he she, she, she wrote a letter to his mother where the person the edison he bought the letter to his mother and showed him where he do not know what is there in the letter when it was showed to him showed to her mother she bitterly cried seeing the letter 
and just she told his son you are all right the teacher says you are such a brilliant we are landing now so invigorating our society lies more with us so i would tell each of us to cultivate a habit of invigorating igniting inspiring and making a change within us so i conclude by saying making change internal will make a change a positive change outside by inspiring others we just bring up the future citizens a uh, great future citizens by igniting we bring up we invigorate the society so by this i conclude my session and uh, i thank each and every one who have given ears to me to listen so patiently and uh, thank you if you have any questions yeah you can ask me to principal ma'am uh, for uh, giving an opportunity like this to share our perceptions thank you so much ma'am actually i am delighted that all all our colleagues like you know all of you are coming up with such wonderful topics and all of you are coming voluntarily that we'll do this and this is where the platform whatever we have at least we can share with all of us so thanks to all of you for taking this so positively and enthusiastically thank you